One question that frequently comes up about working with Google Sites is how to organize and reorganize your um, toolbars or your menu bars where uh, you have pages and subpages and you want to, let's say, reorder the pages or the subpages where they show up on the menu. And also, how do I um, get the effect where I have a page and then a subpage below it? So teaching appointments seems to be a, a regular page. And then the subpages are teaching statement mistake two and teaching statement mistake one below that. So let me show you how to uh, change the order of your menu bar. To do that, you're going to go to more. And then you're going to go to edit site layout. And uh, this site layout editor is actually a fairly new, a fairly improved process by Google Sites. It's pretty easy. All you do is you actually scroll over what you want to change. And um, it allows you to, to change whatever you'd like just by scrolling over it and then uh, clicking on what you want to change. So you're going to want to click on the navigation page, not sidebar, but navigation. So click on that. And what's going to come up is basically all the pages and sub pages that you have. So the first thing we need to do is to figure out um, how to actually change the order of the pages and sub pages. So let's say that we want to put teaching statement mistake one above teaching statement mistake two. It's actually a pretty easy process. Just select teaching statement mistake one, press the up button, and it will actually change that. Now let's say that we also want to put the curriculum vita page above the service page. We can do that again by just pressing the up button. Or if we want to move it back down, we can bring it back down. So just like that. So now that that's done, uh, let's go back and I want to show you a few more things about the navigation bar. So first of all, uh, just for the purposes of this video, I actually created a new page just maybe 15 minutes ago that isn't showing up on my menu bar yet. So the next question is how do I get that new page to show up on the menu bar? It's actually pretty simple. You just go below to add page. And once it goes to add page, you scroll down. Uh, and if it's something that's recent, you might click my recent changes. Here's a page that in question called new sample page. So I'm going to add that. And you'll notice now that it shows up at the very bottom. Well, let's say that I actually want to put that um, above the curriculum vita section. So I could put that right here. Uh, and let's say that I want the curriculum vita and services section to become sub pages of the new sample page. I would select it and then press the right arrow, the right arrow and it pushes it out to become a sub page. And again, with services, I would uh, click it out right and it would become a sub page. So now let's see what that looks like. Yep, perfect. It made all the changes we need. So in brief, that's uh, a very easy way to work with your menu bar. And just for reference, those of you who have a horizontal menu bar rather than a vertical menu bar, it's the same process. Just scroll over your horizontal menu bar and then press the navigation button that comes up and the same thing will actually show up.